what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology and today we shall start with the series of how to improve our planets many of you have been requesting me for this series so today is sunday morning it's full snow here in germany and today i thought why not start with how to improve our sun yes 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 we will talk of sun because today is the sun. day of the sun today is sunday so let's talk of how to improve our sun all right if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere here or there and if you want a consultation then please approach me in my website below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with those people who want to know how to improve the power of the sun in their horoscope all right and if you want me to make any other video then let me know in the comments and i'll be doing this series till venus all right till friday let's see how much i can cover i mean i'll not do it every other day i will upload gita videos also but this will go for every planet so here we will not only discuss how to improve our sun we will also dis discuss how to destroy our sun <laughs> because both are important because if we only know the do's but we don't know the don'ts then we can't uh, make a good gist out of it yes because then we may be doing something unknowingly which may cancel out all the effects of the good deeds regarding the planets which we have been doing okay so that is why it is very important that we also know what to do and what not to do the do's and don'ts are very 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 important all right so what's the first thing we should do so that we can improve the situation of our sun well before that let's have a small talk on what sun is sun represents our father it represents the authority figures it represents the government it represents the leaders politicians people who are in limelight people who have power position yes people in the big positions they are represented by the sun on the external level and internally sun represents our soul the atma it represents our purpose of what we are supposed to do in this world do does not mean karma but who we are as an individual yes the sun and moon are very important planets sun shows the ego the identification ego means atma atma does not mean the soul on the highest level atma means the soul but atma also means what we think ourselves to be atta hmm? atma means what we think ourselves to be suppose i think i am the son of this person i am the wife of this person i am the husband of this person then my atma is that particular designation now i may also think that i am a spirit soul on a journey to god then that becomes my identity so that is represented by the sun all right therefore we should have a good identity first of all if we want to improve the sun otherwise if we have identities which does not serve our purpose then our sun will naturally go down that is very important for us to realize which means that our definition of success should i repeat our definition of success should come from the right places and from the right people for example what do you mean by definition of success definition of success simply means every circle every organization every person everything in this world thinks differently about success for example if you ask one person what do you think being successful is then that person may say oh for me being successful means to get married and to have a good family and to live a life with your family for the other person the definition of success can be that oh i should have a great career i should be a millionaire for the other person the definition of success could be that i don't want money i don't want a good spouse or good marriage i just want to go and pursue god yes that is his or her definition of success so wherever we stay whichever place we stay in this planet whichever people are around us we will unconsciously try to cater to that definition of success yes which means for example if you are staying with a group of people 
who are smoking who are drinking who are indulging in sinful activities then what will we do we will also try to behave like them yes that is what happens when people get into company of wrong people then they start doing all the nefarious activities because unless we do things that they are doing which is their definition of success what is the definition of success for a person who drinks maybe it is how many pegs you can put at a stretch right i don't know much but i'm just giving an example so if we stay with that person then we will also start behaving like that person because we have to cater to his or her definition of success yes and then we will identify ourselves with that so the first thing we should do is when we want to improve our son is we should stay with those people who have the right definition of success who are away from bad habits who are away from sinful habits that those activities which will degrade the soul who will degrade the consciousness all right because otherwise we will identify with their activities and by that we will degrade ourselves also so choose your company wisely otherwise you will not be able to do things because of which you are appreciate for example uh some of my uh, friends in my spiritual journey most of them they have appreciated me very much because i have opened this channel and i am uh, giving this uh, knowledge to everybody and for me also to learn because i am also learning by your comments and all all your interactions but in the mundane society i have some friends who even if they know that i have opened this channel they are like mm, okay nice good <laughs> it's just a formality they are doing because for them giving spiritual knowledge and ha and having spiritual encounters is nothing great you understand because they think that oh happiness means oh, you have a good a wife a good looking girl or a rich man as your husband or you have a, lo a lot of money that that's what is their definition of success but those people who i have in my spiritual friend circle they have tremendously appreciated because their definition of success and my definition of success is the same yes so that is why we should be very intelligent when we uh, decide with whom we stay because as they say tell me the friends that you have and i will tell you who you are yes and they also say that you are the average of five people who you meet constantly should i repeat you are the average of five people who you meet every day yes if you are staying with five people who are discussing about women about uh, bodily parts of the opposite sex then you will also become like one of them if you are staying with five people who are always discussing about how to loot others mon monetary wise then you will also become like that so then your ego ego doesn't mean the arrogance here it means your identification your atma will also be like theirs all right so be with, be very wise to choose the company and by that your son will naturally improve because you will have a good and a healthy definition of success all right stay with good people basically then what we should do is we should understand where the son gets debilitated yes that is very important son gets debilitated in the sign of libra yes 0 to 10 degrees of libra now what is libra basically libra is the mool trikon sign of venus <laughs> yes that's what libra is that means we should be very careful libra is what venus venus is the opposite sex right so that means we should be very careful when we are dealing with the opposite sex because even if you are a girl or a boy if your son is in libra then technically son is debilitated yes it doesn't matter you are a man or a woman this is general for everybody that means uh, venus on a higher level on a mundane sense if you say it represents materialistic pleasure yes so when atma the chitta the pure consciousness delves into this realm of material existence it loses its power it loses its potency what what is the potency of the soul potency of the soul is to be delighting in god consciousness in the higher being in the supreme enlightenment god as uh, it is said in the gita that mahatmanastu mam partha daivim prakritim ashritam bhajanti ananya manaso gyatva bhutadi mabhyam 
Mahatmas, Lord Krishna says in the Gita that Mahatmas to Mam Partha, Daivim Prakriti Mashrita, Mahatmas, the great souls, always delight in me. Yes, Daivim Prakriti Mashrita, they take shelter of my divine potency, which is my spiritual potency. Bhajanti Ananya Manaso, they constantly keep discussing about me and my glories and my greatness. Gyatva Bhuta Dimavyayam, knowing me to be the cause of all causes. So, basically what Lord Krishna is saying that one who is spiritually strong, that only that person can have a strong purpose in life because ultimately the sun shows the purpose, alright? So now, some of you uh, have asked me that, uh, does it mean that we should not get married? No, no, it's not. It has nothing to do with marriage. Marriage is one of the four ashramas, yes. But what I am saying is, when we are in general dealing with the opposite sex, we should be very careful. Which means that we should uh, keep our interactions with the opposite sex till only the point where it is required. Yes, I am not talking of marriage here. You can marry, you can have a wife, you can have husband, you can also have children. That is permitted by the Vedas. But in general, you will see, if a person is indulging too much in Venusian things, in the opposite sex, either it's a boy or a girl, then you will see that that person loses purpose in life. You will see this universally, yes. We have the examples of presidents of countries, prime ministers who have fallen down into impeachment from their uh, people or from their enemies because of uh, loose dealings with the opposite sex. Yes, so we must be very careful when we are dealing with the opposite sex. We should not, uh, we should not uh, go more way, way, way ahead than uh, we should be going actually. Yes, so I hope uh, those who are intelligent are understanding what I am saying. So it simply means that we should not indulge too much into things which uh, Libra signifies. Yes, that is uh, the opposite sex basically. Taurus represents luxuries and wealth, money and all this. But sun doesn't get debilitated there. Sun gets debilitated in Libra. Now, the difference between Taurus and Libra is Taurus represents all the things which Venus represent on a physical level, uh, which are non-living. For example, luxury, money, food. These are non-living substances, right? But Libra represents the uh, living part of Venus, which is the opposite sex, the people, the persons, all right, the human beings. So that is what Sun in Libra is telling us that if you indulge too much into uh, Venusian things or Venusian people, <laughs> then we will always see that we lack purpose in life. Yes, that is why I know some of my friends who, uh, who are too much obsessed with women, they do not have any purpose in life. Till the age of 25, 26, they are still confused. They don't know. They are like headless people who are only the only thing which they talk to me when I talk to them is, oh, what their girlfriend is doing, what oh, what she is doing, what that girl is doing, what this girl is doing. So that is their uh, epicenter, what you say now, in an earthquake. <laughs> so what happens then? When you do not have a purpose, when you make opposite sex the sole goal, aim and purpose of your life, the moment that person leaves your life, then there is complete havoc in your life. Yes, things go haywire completely and you are left alone. And then this per these people, they will go into depression and then they will commit suicide also. That is why suicides are increasing so much. Yes, there are so many problems which are happening. That is because people are focusing much more in the opposite sex than they should focus all right <laughs> now some of you will write in the comments oh you are very judgmental are you saying we should not talk to the opposite sex i don't know why people write things which i never said <laughs> i wish people would write those things which i said all right but anyways youtube is an open platform so i don't reply to such uh, foolish comments which people put about things which i have never said which i did not mean if you want to judge me by that well, that's your free will. I can't help it. Okay, you are free to write anything in my channel. All right. What is the next thing we should do to improve our son? The next thing that we should do is we should respect our father very much. We should always be obedient to him because Surya is the Karaka for father. Yes. And also Surya is the Karaka for our boss, higher authorities, our government connections. 
so we should always make sure that we follow the laws of the state all right and especially small small things like following the rules for example not making the street dirty yes paying our bills in time and see sun is a very punctual planet it always shows up in time so we should also learn this lesson that we should always be punctual all right we should always be on time whatever we do we should try our best like i'm in germany here and germany is very punctual when you say that you have an appointment at eight o'clock it means eight dot zero zero yes it is not eight one it's not eight two yes like in my place in india so if you say that okay we will come at eight o'clock it may mean eight five eight ten eight fifty eight fifty five or maybe nine o'clock also <laughs> so we should uh that that may be okay in the inner circles or when we are meeting family friends that's not a big problem and that may depend on uh, various cultures some cultures are extremely punctual but what i'm saying here is let's be punctual and try our best to be punctual yes in whatever thing we do if we are going for a meeting then let's be very punctual to the minute to the second <laughs> and we should always be very responsible we should always uh, keep our uh, as as they say now the radar the radar of our uh, eye <laughs> we should always keep that hovering around the place suppose uh, we have a family then suppose you are a father watching this then you see that your children they are having some problem then you should be extremely vigilant before they get into more trouble you should be able to diagnose uh, diagnose the problem and you should go uh, you should try your best to solve it yes suppose your wife is having some problem then you should be like a radar who is always going have you seen the radar how it keeps moving always and trying to intercept the signals from different places so we should always be like that we should, uh, our dependents our subordinates especially our children or some um people who are working under us we should always be vigilant to recognize the uh, problems which they may be facing and we should try our best to help them all right so these are the ways by which you can improve your son yes and the last and the most strongest and the most important way by which you can improve your son is by taking into a spiritual path by doing spiritual practices now why i am saying this just think ting tong 1 2 3 4 5 see which is the own sign of the sun yes it is leo everybody knows right so if you make leo the ascendant where does sun gets exalted sun gets exalted in the sign of aries so for leo which house does aries falls for leo aries falls in the ninth house all right that means when sun is going to the ninth house from his home that means he is very happy there <laughs> sun gets exalted in the ninth house of guru in the ninth house of god that means the soul see that is how beautifully parashara has designed the sign of exaltation and debilitation which means that when we go into the ninth house which is the house of god when we have a connection with the higher source the higher power and surya is also representing lord ram here the avatar of vishnu which represents the sun that is lord ram yes moon is for krishna so that means lord ram who is known as maryada purushottam he is the best of the best of the best you know, who is acting like a perfect human being so when we try to imbibe the teachings of lord ram the ramayana the mahabharat yes then we will realize that our surya is becoming strong even if it is in libra forget wherever sun is placed so many people will ask me now oh my son is with saturn it is in the 8th house 12th house 6th house it is with rahu ketu it is debilitated forget where your son is placed i'm not talking of any placement of the sun here all right your son may be in 9 degrees of libra at its peak debilitation at the top most <laughs> of debilitation but even then you can improve it yes if you uh, follow spiritual practices if you do what your guru says provided you have a bona fide guru and then by that when you practice uh, the different spiritual processes which are there by that your inner strength will increase very much yes you will become very strong inside and then nobody will be able to uh, make you out of uh, your purpose they nobody will be able to pull you out of the things that you are doing yes 
nobody will be able to challenge you challenge you does not mean that you will not have enemies but people will know that he is very strong yes so even if i tell this person he or she that oh why are you doing this leave this na they know that uh, these people he will not listen to us yes <laughs> because he or she is very strong and committed with the purpose yes so that is why we should have a uh, spiritual practices in our home especially uh, chanting mantras in the morning by getting up and then uh, also having uh, programs in the weekends yes and then reading the scriptures every evening when we come with our family with our wife with our husband with our kids with our parents yes and then by that our son will improve and we will know that ultimately uh, this material world which lord krishna says in the gita is uh, only bound to give us suffering pain sorrow misery at the fag end of our life yes because everything is taken away from us so at the end of our life when we are about to die if we are having uh, god consciousness that time then uh, we will not take another birth as lord krishna says in the gita that yad gatvan nivartante tad dham paramam mama that one who returns back to my abode does not come back here so um, so that means if we want to be strong we have to have god on our side and that is why i will end this video by saying that god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will definitely find him and he will also tell you how to improve your son all right so that is it from my side and regarding how to destroy your son <laughs> just reverse the rules <laughs> stay with people who have bad uh, who have bad habits because sun gets debilitated in, in libra which is the third house from uh, the uh, sign of leo yes so if you put leo as the ascendant surya goes into the third house in libra and it gets debilitated there so third house is what third house is the opposite of the ninth house yes it is the core house of materialistic pleasure it is the original sign of gemini which is the sign of prostitution yes uh um, which simply means that when we become too much over indulgent in things related to this material world especially in matters of the opposite sex then we are bound to suffer nobody can save us yes but then when we look opposite from the third to the ninth house which is the house of god sun gets exalted there all right so and yes if you want to destroy your son uh, insult your father criticize him and go and speak badly about your bosses as many people do yes then and be very responsible never go on time never show up on time yes uh, stay with people who are uh, indulging in nefarious activities and that's how your surya will be going into the deepest point of debilitation yes you don't have to do much it's very easy to degrade a planet the only challenge is uh, you uh, how how to improve the planet yes so that is what i wanted to say i hope uh, you are benefited from this video so the essence of this video is that we take to spiritual path then our sun will naturally improve because then it will go to the ninth house from leo into aries where it gets exalted all right there you go how to improve and degrade our sun okay so if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribe then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me to to my website and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with those people who want to know how to improve or degrade the sun oh yes and one small thing i forgot to say another thing is uh, that you can do to improve your sun is uh you can uh, fast on sundays all right if your sun is afflicted especially you can fast till 6 pm from the morning uh, don't eat anything after you have taken saturday dinner don't eat anything and then from the morning you fast till 6 pm and after 6 pm you break your fast whenever you are planning to sleep just before sleeping all right so by that uh, your sun will naturally improve especially if there are afflictions affliction like if it is been aspected by saturn or rahu affliction basically means what you have a planet which is doing its job but then some other planet is interfering that means the other planet will not let this planet function properly that means some external obstructions may come in your path so especially if there are afflictions or even if sun is debilitated we need to fast and then we can also chant the aditya hridaya stotra yes 
uh, and we can also chant the mantras like shri ram jay ram jay jay ram <laughs> because he is the avatar of vishnu who represents the sun yes because he is from the solar dynasty surya vamsh ragu vamsh as we say and we can also chant uh, different mantras which are there and depending on your horoscope uh, if you want to know uh, which mantras you should chant then you can approach me for a consultation okay so i wish you all the best in improving your sun okay so i hope one day we all will put our sun into aries which is the sign of purpose strength determination and goals all right so wish you good luck with your sun until next time with how to improve and destroy your moon okay bye bye see you